looks real good. Look, we're, we're finishing up on our harvest. You can see everything went to, to pot this year. We didn't really take care of anything. I gotta be honest, we don't have any. Our lawn went to pot, our garden, but look at what we're still doing. We didn't do anything this year. Look, I even got, they look like pumpkins over there, don't they? Those are not pumpkins. In fact, they have one here. Let me get it. These are, look at that. Hybrid squash. Hybrid squash. It's a cross between an acorn squash and a um, spaghetti squash from like two years ago. And they just grew and I was like, we we're like, I didn't plant any pumpkins. I've never planted pumpkins. So I've got those, got these. Needless to say, um, after everything dies off here, what, next week? Is everything dying off next week, babe? Probably got about two weeks. About two weeks. We're gonna come out here and we'll have to clean. We don't even have the pool. I don't even know if I wanna show you the pool. It's green. It's green. And Harley, Harley, our little dog, she thinks that she can go in there and swim. And I'm like, no, you're gonna get sick. Well, so we got a lot of cleaning up to do. But you know what? We got a really good life. I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand how this happens. Do you think it could be because of Jesus? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All of you who, who think that, you know, that your life is, you know, you're just not feeling it and you, you just feel in despair. Get down on your knees and start praying. I'm telling you, he really listens. He really listens. I'm a little upset right now. There was this really cute little toy, and and this little girl here, Gracie, it was Precious's toy. Why did? How did you get a hold of it? She got a hold Somebody of the toy. Who did? Oh, that's a, no. Leave her. Just leave her. She already got it. Leave her. Yeah, I know. Everything's a mess. I didn't do anything. I figured out what's wrong with me. You know what's wrong with me, Dad? Depression? Yeah. How did you get, did you just guess that? Yeah, I'm depressed. I'm totally and completely depressed. Am I depressed over the COVID? No, absolutely not. I'm not, that did not depress me at all. I am depressed over the position that I have been put in when I had said not to do it as charge nurse. I had said in the very beginning and I, I knew what was gonna happen. I knew what kind of negative effect it was gonna have on me and it did, it absolutely did. And I didn't want that to happen, but I've went over and over and over throughout my career and I know and I've tried and nobody listens to me. And I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave. I'm gonna stick it out. I'm gonna at least stick it out until, <laughs> until these people leave that are so angry with me. These people who have decided to band together and you know come against me, I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'm just going to stay there and I'm going to do what I have to do. And then y'all better make a plan because then I'm leaving. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I just don't, I can't do it. And you know, and that's what it is. It's complete depression. It's I've been put into a depression, a situational depression that I knew, that I knew would happen. And uh, I tried to keep away from it and nobody will listen to me. And that's okay. That's okay. I mean, it's not like I haven't hit this before. And uh, I'll get through it, of course, with, you know, the help of, um, you know, get down on my knees, pray, and, you know, I got it. I got this. I got this with the help of Jesus, you know. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm being hood here. We're roasting chili. Roasting chili. You're looking at the mess of my backyard that happened over the past summer. It's a mess. I'm like, I came out here the other day and I was like, oh, you should have seen a couple of years ago. It was so beautiful. It was like a little paradise back here. I mean, the garden looked so beautiful, the grass. I mean, okay, the grass has never looked beautiful, but it sure wasn't dead. I mean, everything looked gorgeous. And then, um, and then I started working at Parkview. Oh, excuse me. That's not what I meant. I didn't mean there's nothing to say about, you know, where I work. It's a, it's a fabulous place to work. I wouldn't want to stay there if I wasn't, seriously. But, um, yeah, that's kind of what happened. So, so we'll just go day by day. 
and uh, we'll see how things work out. It's all I can do, right? All I can do. As for those who have decided to band against me, because there's not just one, but there's a group. And uh, I had to realize that. There's not just one. And everybody who, there was only one who wrote me that message. But there was a group who encouraged it. And if you were in that group, you are just as guilty as the one who wrote it. And I, I, I want, and I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you. But I just don't think that I can trust you all anymore. And that's the hardest part. I don't know if I could do this. You know, that's something in me. And, you know, Crystal, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say your name either. She was like, I know this hurt you. And I'm like, it didn't hurt me. It, I think it was more of a disappointment because I expected more out of people, I think. You know, and, and that's my, that's a fault of mine because I do. Even Joel tell me, he was like, you expect way too much out of people. You know, and it, yeah, you, you're right. I do. I do expect a lot. I do expect a lot. I don't expect to give more than, or I don't expect to get more than I give, though, you know? So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not unwilling to work just as hard or alongside everybody else. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I don't know. That's what I was, th that was in my heart today, um, you know, because I was just thinking, why? Why are you still losing weight? Why is it? Except I'm starving today. I have, you know, I haven't eaten today. Wait, no, I ate some Cheetos. They were really delicious. Huh? Oh, and I ate a Rice Krispie Treat. That was delicious, oh, too. One. I just ate one. Whatever. It was so delicious. I love Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> I'm going to lose it anyway. What's the, what's the matter? I have no idea. So, anyway, that's just the kind of some thoughts that were on my mind today. And, uh, hey, look, there's Harley. Harley! Hi, girl! She's like, hey, Mom, I'm going to go swimming in that uh, green water. I'm like, no, you are not. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to take off. And um, I hope everybody has a really good week. Maybe I'll talk to you this week. I only have one more week. I'm thinking of the morning show with Joel. I'm really sad because I really love I really love the morning show. That's what I call it, the morning show. I really love the morning show with Joel. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody has a great week. And hey, oh, I thought you were going to squirt me. Sure. <laughs> have a great See, day. So, what did you say the other day? So if you have something against somebody, uh, or if you think somebody is a certain way, it's mm -hmm. something that you see in yourself. Right. So what am I seeing? Tell me what I'm not. Tell me what I'm so not you seeing. Would, you would have, you would have squirted me if you had a chance. Oh yeah, I totally would have. <laughs> uh, Dad, I can't see nothing. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I totally would have. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I can't see. My glasses are all full of water. Hope everybody has a really great day, great rest of the week. Uh, God bless. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.